hello students welcome to my channel uh, in this video we are going to discuss example 2.3 and example 2.4 from chapter number 2 the working fluid from the book applied thermodynamics by td stop and mcconkey <coughs> statement of example 2.3 is steam at 110 bar has a specific volume of 0.0196 cubic meter per, per kilogram calculate the temperature the specific enthalpy and the specific internal energy so <clears throat> we have given that the steam pressure is 110 bar specific volume is 0.0196 cubic meter per kilogram and we have to find <coughs> the temperature t uh, second we have to find the specific enthalpy third we have to find the specific internal energy so <coughs> now coming to the solution of this problem first uh, we will visit the steam table of uh, wet steam or saturated steam so at 110 bar in the saturated steam tables we have value of specific volume at saturated vapor line which is 0.015 98 cubic meter per kilogram just to check the steam uh, status that either it is saturated steam or superheated steam so if we compare the value of v which is given to us the specific volume of the steam it is 0.0196 cubic meter per kilogram and when we check the value of steam at saturated vapor line in the saturated steam tables we have this much value 0.01598 cubic meter per kilogram so from this we see that vg is less than v r v is greater than vg it states that from this we predict that the steam is in the superheated region so if we plot the status of the superheated steam on the pv diagram so it will look like this this is the pv diagram this is the wet loop the area under this curve is the wet region <clears throat> and this is the superheated region so the st steam which is given to us that is at point a and this is a point is the state of the superheated steam if we look to this point suppose this is point b so this point is the point at which vg exists or the temperature of the saturated steam exists and the difference between these two points for example if we take the temperature difference of these two points for example ta minus tb that is the difference of temperatures so this is called the degree of superheat so in this case as we mentioned that the steam is in the superheated region so we will go to the steam tables of superheated steam and there we will check the properties at 110 bar so when we check the properties at 110 bar so the specific volume is already given to us it is 0.0196 cubic meter per kilogram 
and the temperature corresponding to this pressure is 350 degree centigrade so first thing is 350 the temperature 350 degree centigrade <coughs> similarly the degree of superheat is the difference of temperature ta minus tb if we are interested to find this value as well so it is very easy 350 minus the temperature of the uh, saturated steam at the saturated vapor line that is temperature which is 318 kelvin so in, when we take the difference of this we get 32 kelvin so this is the degree of superheat similarly at 110 bar and 350 degree centigrade we have specific enthalpy value which is 2889 kilojoule per kilogram so this is the second required quantity third we have to find the specific internal energy so for that we use the simple equation u is equal to h minus pv from the definition of specific enthalpy we say that it is h is equal to u plus pv so rearranging this we are required to find u so u is equal to h minus pv h is 2889 kilojoule per kilogram minus p is pressure 110 bar so converting it to pascal we will multiply factor of 10 to the power 5 and the value of specific volume is 0 0.0196 to convert it to kilo joule per kilogram we will divide it by 1000 so we get the value in the kilo joule per kilogram and it is 2673.4 kilo joule per kilogram so this is the required discussion of example 2.3 now example 2.4 the statement of example 2.4 is steam at 150 bar has a specific enthalpy of 3309 kilojoule per kilogram so pressure is given in this example which is 150 bar second quantity is the specific enthalpy and it is 3309 kilo joule per kilogram and we are required to find first the temperature second we have to find the specific volume and third we have to find the specific internal energy so in this case v is unknown in previous case v is known to us and in this case we have to find the value of specific volume so <coughs> now at 150 bar first we will visit the wet steam uh, tables or saturated steam tables and we will check the value of hg so at 150 bar the value of h is 2611 kilojoule per kilogram this is the value hg value so comparing the value of h which is given to us in this statement and hg which is 2611 kilojoule per kilogram so we observe that hg is less than h so in this case we can say that again the steam is in the superheated region if hg is greater than h then we will say that the steam is saturated or wet steam but but this is the inverse uh, scenario in which h is greater than hg so again uh, now going to the superheated steam tables and there we will check the at 150 bar pressure we will check 
the other properties and uh, mm, uh, specific enthalpy value is 3309 so when we check the values we have temperature t which is Uh, 500 degree centigrade so this is the first thing which is required in this problem as example so from the saturated uh, superheated uh, steam tables at 150 bar pressure and 3309 kilojoule per kilogram specific enthalpy we have temperature of 500 degree C and specific volume is at this pressure 150 bar and specific enthalpy 309 kJ per kg we have specific volume again 0.02078 cubic meter per kg now to third we have to find the specific internal energy for that again using equation of specific enthalpy h is equal to u plus p rearranging it we will get this form u is equal to h minus pv h is 3309 which is given in the statement pressure is 150 bar converting it to pascal we will multiply it as power 5 and v is found which is 0.02078 from the superheated steam tables divided by 10 to the power 3 or 1000 converting it to kilojoule per kilogram so the value of specific internal energy is 2997.3 kilojoule per kilogram so the all the three unknown values have found in this example so this is the overall discussion of example 2.4 and this video was regarding the example uh, 2.3 and example 2.4 and next video we will discuss example 2.5 thanks thanks for watching please like and comment on my videos also subscribe my channel to get new videos